Sounds Prime TRFX. Coming at you on a Tuesday. Last trading week of the year. What are we? December 17th. Got the Orient chart up here. We printed a real turn bar on Friday, but now we're squeezing shorts here. Um unclear where we're going to go here. Your risk reward's not super great. Your there will be stops above 64 and as long as as long as uh equities are bullish uh and bonds and boons are lower, euro yen's going to remain sort of bid-ish. Uh but just keep an eye on both edges of this bar, so 121.38 uh 122.65 no dog in this fight, but just watching both sides uh, will be tactical for the rest of the year. Smash and grab is, is really the only way. Um, see how things go with that. Dollar on the other hand, is bookended by two levels, but different sort of setup here. So we had the doji on Friday. 71 looks interesting. There is about a yard of options uh, rolling off today around... 109.78 so between 75 and 84 there's a billion dollars of options today so be careful with that um, if you're going to break trade this this is a reflection of just euphoria uh, this probably can go today uh, will it have energy or not I don't know uh, let's just see what the picture looks like BOJ later this week they should do nothing uh, but the risk for the BOJ seems to be building that they're going to change policy and reduce stimulus. So this would be quite bad for dollar yen. Um, but if you're just trying to snare 30 pips or something, keep an eye on uh, 109.70.72. There will be some action there. Cable got smacked overnight. Um, we got a heads up from uh, one of our friends who runs a systematic yesterday which we did not take advantage of he was mentioning to me how the the technicals in cable were very bullish obviously you can see the chart but the fundamentals in the UK are not half as bullish um, as the media would like to portray this is a guy who runs a 16 signal indicator on on economic fundamentals and then he overlays it with um, technical analysis uh, shame we didn't listen. We had a small short on last night, but it's not going to pay. Not going to pay the light bill. Uh, but cable got smoked under pressure. Still, uh, one thirty two eighty four. Don't want to chase this now because there will be uh, buyers down here in this one thirty two fifty figure area. We have UK employment today. Let's see how that comes out. Average earnings. Uh, and employment due 1030 um, 1030 time also BOE minutes is that right uh, today all eyes will be on employment um, we'll have to see if uh, if that comes in negative after yesterday's uh, PMIs also came in a little bit lower Aussie minutes last night didn't really do much I haven't even looked uh, and read them but um, based on the vol here there's not really too much to do you could argue it's a little bit surprising that Aussie is here considering stocks are 3200 not really sure what to do with Aussie um, just watching and waiting for now on the dailies it looks like it wants to go lower but it's hard to argue Aussie lower when the risk metrics surrounding the world are so bid. Dollar CAD, uh, we talked about 131.15 on Twitter yesterday. I think the low tick was 15, yeah. Um, now we have a little double bottom here. Are we going to grind higher? Uh, a little bit higher. I think that we're going to get some sideways action here now between 60 and the figure. Really nothing to do in dollar cad. If you have longs from yesterday, you want to try and ease out of these and trade this from the long side now uh, between 60 and 90. 
dollars are surprised us. We thought um, there'd be more pain on the upside, but emerging markets volatility is its all-time lows right now. So what you're seeing here um, are people piling into uh, emerging markets. You have risk on in the equity markets around the world. You have bond yields going lower and you have volatility, emerging markets volatility collapsing. It's the historic all-time low of EM VIX. Minus a couple hiccups in Turkey, um, people are piling into EM right now. It's unfortunate, uh, well it's not really unfortunate, We this was always going to be a one-hit wonder through 1450. Uh, and if you did survive the move back to 1455, I think was the high. This looks like a steady short. Uh, we are not on board with this. I don't like this side of the trade. This is a recipe for disaster. Anyone who is buying Czar at 1430, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be eating that stuff through a blender after they get their teeth knocked out somewhere around 1480. Um, soon, uh, you know, everyone knows the economics and the politics um, of South Africa and of Turkey and of Russia for that matter, although Russia I don't mind as much uh, economically, but be that as it may, the world is piling into this stuff, you don't want to fight it firsthand, um, let's let them get the positions on and then we'll see where the pain's going to be. Uh, and then maybe we can we can attack those levels when they show themselves. Got not much else out in uh, Europe today. We got industrial production in the U.S., which will be watched. We have manufacturing production, which is part of industrial production. Building permits. ECB Lane is speaking this afternoon. He may say something. I don't know what he could possibly say. Um, but it looks like a quiet morning. UK numbers are going to be out. And then we have sort of a mid-afternoon-ish industrial production. Not much to do here. I want to bring up Euro Norway because this is now coming to a more sensible level. Um, we've been talking about being short Euro Norway. Anything above over 1010 10. we wore uh, some pain as this thing went up to 30 we sold 17s we sold 27s and then we kind of gave up on this trade as it went back down to 10 and 07 traded back up to 20 but now we're breaking all of these lows here we do have some central bank uh, announcements out of the Scandinavian region this week uh, if you're feeling flexible and spry uh, don't be afraid to uh, take a swing in the Scandi, uh, in the Scandi world, there will be some vol, both Euro Norway and Euro Sweden. Uh, let's pull up Eurosec one sec. I rarely ever trade Eurosec, so I don't really know anything about, or I don't have a good feel for what's going on. But I guess they're saying that uh, they're going to change their rate policy you know, move away from negative rates in Sweden. I read this as a headline. It's a bit of a throwaway here at this point. Look at that chart. This thing has been coming off uh, at a good speed. 40 handles now um, in the last couple months. Anyway, there's going to be vol in this stuff. Um, just a reminder, if you're feeling, if you're feeling front foot, take a swing in the Scandi world. Listen, that's all I got. We're, our focus today is on dollar yen. Um, we'll be trading dollar CAD, uh, trading it from the long side up now between 60 and 90. So selling longs and trying to buy them back. Um, but dollar yen is the main focus. 109.71 uh, should be, should, there should be some action. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, good luck out there. I will uh, catch you all tomorrow. Ciao.